September. Um, this is our this is our final project. Uh, we decided to go into making a guitar distortion pedal because it was an idea that interested both of us a lot. He plays the guitar, um, and unlike a regular presentation, it's going to be kind of a we're going to talk about the kind of roadblocks we we came across. Is there a lot of roadblocks? Yeah. So the concept, our original concept, was actually to make a full mod digital uh, guitar amplifier. The initial problem with that was that we couldn't run our analog digital converter, modulate the signal, <coughs> modulate the signal, then output that through a digital analog converter fast enough to actually make a uh, good audio signal with any sort of resolution. So, from there, we actually skipped the whole audio signal output focused on a distortion pedal, like something that a guitarist would use on stage that just goes in between the guitar and the amplifier. So over there was our initial design where we had an input handler, an output handler, and several different uh, signal modulation blocks in between that you could trigger on and off with the Arduino. Uh, this is what we have right now, and actually, <laughs> that isn't working. It's broken, and we're not quite sure why yet, and we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> so the guitar output impedance is really high, and uh, the guitar analog signal is a voltage signal with a really small current. So we decided to uh, input that signal through an input handler, uh, through an amplifier, and that resistive network will uh, buffer the current. It also, what it does is it DC biases the audio signal to negative 4.5 volts, and the rest of the uh, the rest of the circuit runs from a zero to n zero volt ground and a negative nine volt supply voltage. So this biases the audio signal to right in the middle of that, so it can be amplified or clipped. To the rest of the that is the distortion block. It's a amplifier with two diodes that clip the top and bottom of the uh, audio signal, and it amplifies again for distortion. Uh, and the reason that's not working is because we burnt it out. We believe something is damaged on the board <coughs> that messes up the uh, reference voltage, so it's not actually in between the supply voltage. It's I believe when I tested it, it was around negative 5 volts rather than negative 4.5. So it's unevenly flipping the signal. It doesn't sound good. Here's a delay block that we tried to implement. Um, we initially meant to implement before. Uh, this basically what it would do would just clock a single signal with two different clocks and delay um, that signal um, by 30 seconds and output that to kind of get a delayed um, sound. But uh, we couldn't find this chip. It's a rather old chip. Um, it's called a bucket bridge delay. Um, bucket T. Okay. And it was $15 on eBay. I said $30 on eBay. So that was another thing. It was kind of hard to order. Um, it was hard to find parts. Hard to find parts, yeah. Basically, doing an analog project, digital audio project, is kind of tough. And so then, this is another project of ours, the phaser. And this actually, we aren't using most of this. This is a low frequency oscillator, which we are going to use the Arduino and a, a PWM to actually replace that. This is a uh, power that supplies the half, DC bias stuff. This is a low pass input filter. So really the only thing that we actually needed to make was this cascade of uh, op amps that form an all-pass filter and combines a clean signal with a phase-shifted signal. So it's in and out of phase with itself. And the problem with that circuit is if you see here, there are a bunch of 100K resistors all over the place here and a lot of op amps that actually drew a lot of current too much current to work with the input filter, the output filter, the half wave generator, and actually I believe that's what damaged our circuit.
and then that this is the output filter. This devices or the audio signal from the negative 4.5 to ground and outputs it as a regular audio signal. So we couldn't really do a demo today in class, but we have some Snapchat quality videos <laughs> that were taken with a freshman guitar player who, um, this was yesterday when the audio works. Yeah. 